So hi there all, we're now on our next video in statistics and now um, we're still in the measures of central tendency um, but this time I'm going to show you how to get the values by using a software application called Jamovi. So we have uh, been using this um, quite some time and this time we're going to determine how to get the measure of central tendencies here. So um, let's go and dive into the examples um, rather than the the definitions and terms here so we have here again the arithmetic mean you may want to read read these parts here so um, this will be discussed um, in a separate video not on, the, on this one but we will be maximizing our use in the in in this sub software application so um, let's go and jump into this example number one so again this hand this is the handout um, created by dr. sweet rose Linares. okay so Let's start with this uh, first example here. So it says here that during a particular summer month, the eight salespeople in an appliance store sold the following no number of cent central air conditioning units. So we have 8, 11, 5, 14, 8, 11, 16, 11. So considering this month as a population of interest, the mean number of units sold is said to be 10.5. So if we have sold this using Excel. Now let's use Jamovi We're in this um, scenario so what are the values we have 8 11 5 14 8 11 16 11 so it's critical to put them in a single variable so you can double click this a here and you, we can change the variable say we have the the um, number of um, central central AC unit It depends on you and how to how you will um, name this. We'll name it like that. So number of central AC unit. So what we're gonna do is you're going to get the the mean. So how do we get the mean of this? You just go to exploration, click the descriptives, and you will be jumped and put into this window over here. It's kind of loading. Um, and then um, B and C are by default there, but they are empty as you can see if you're going to click on back to data So what we're gonna do is click on this N of central AC unit. You click this and put this in the variables Okay, so you'll see that it's now in the variables and uh, You can see here the mean the median standard deviation maximum and minimum values But if you're going to click the statistics here, you can see all the things all the stuff that you want to show in your in your um, in your descriptives so what we only need to know is the mean so if you really want if you only want the mean to be there so you can just uncheck everything else so what will be left there is the mean which is exactly 10.5 okay so the mean is 10.5 over there okay um, so next up that's how you get the mean in Jamovi so pretty much you can you can get the median if you want you can just click this and you it will automatically give you the median the mode also if you want you can get the mode which is also 11 um, you can have the standard deviation even though it's in the it's this is in the next topic but like, you know you can just click the tick click the checkbox and you'll get the standard deviation the variance the range what is the minimum value that we can have what is the maximum value that we can have um, these are these are these two are beyond our lessons. This is the interquartile range. If you want that, okay. This is the standard error of the mean. So if you want that, um, you can also have that. The sum of all the values, it's also there if you would want. You can get also the skewness of the purposes. Um, and you want the normality test to know if, if the values are normal. So we have the shapiro wilk um, normality test. So we have this um, values here. Uh, this is beyond our lesson, but you can tell if the, if the if the distribution is enough to be said to be normal so you can also have some measures of central location if you would want so what is the 25th percentile what is the 50th which is equal to the median which is 75th so we can just um, do the stuff that you want here so these are all the descriptives that we will be needing okay so in particular what we want to have is the mean so therefore there it is Okay, so next part is the weighted mean. So let's go back to data. And uh, 
Here, notice in example 2, we have in a multi-product company, the profit margins for the company's four product lines during the fiscal year were given. So let's name this the uh, product lines. Or, you know, the profit margin rather. Profit margin. This is our X. Um, we'll have first the, the first um, product line, the profit margin is 4.2%. The next is 5.5%, uh, we have 7.4%, and then 10.1%. So we have four of them over here. Um, if we would want to get the direct mean, that is the only the, the you know, the the mean directly, not the weighted mean, we'll just click the profit margin, put it here, and you'll, you'll get the mean. Okay, just like, just like similar to this. So if you only want the mean of that, so you can just uncheck all the other things that you don't need which will give us eventually the meat okay so we'll see that there are four our n should be four because there are four samples and our mean is 6.8 which is pretty much this, the same over here okay so how do we get then the the uh the weighted mean say um this is true the 6.8 is true if um, the product lines are equal, but if they're not equal, so assuming they 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 follow this sales here, so we go back to data and let's call this the sales value. Sales value. Sales in. Let's call this a W. Okay, so so we also we say that the sales here is 30, 30 million. We have 20 million. We have 5 million and we have 3 million so how do we get the the profit okay the sale so I'm not really sure if Jamovi have the weighted mean so as far as I can see there's no weighted mean here but we can Okay, so so far Jamovi cannot do this kind of weighted mean. Okay, I don't know how to take this weighted mean here. Um, but well, it can take the arithmetic mean, the ordinary mean. So um, let's just skip through this, and then we'll we'll go and get on the median. So the same. How do we get the median of this first example? So this is taken from example one. That this here. So simply enough, we can get the median best just by clicking on the median part. On the descriptives and what you will see is that the median is 11 so uh, I think you can see it from here so I'll just uh, wrap it up again overall here uh, let's have another example which is example 4 let's add another one for that another, vote, another variable um, this is the reaction times for a random sample of nine subjects to a stimulant were recorded as 2.5 3.6 um, let's add another variable. Let's call them the um, reaction time. So we have 2.5, uh, 3.6, 3.1, 4.3, 2.9, 2.3, 2.6, 4.1, um, and 3.4. All of which are taken here so we can see here right, right written in, in an array so if you're going to do the median if we're going to get the median manually you need to put it in an array and then um, take the middle most value and then which we don't need to do in Jamovi again what we'll what you need to do is go to analysis tab click the exploration click on the descriptives um, we would want to get the descriptives or the descriptive stat of the reaction time so we'll click that and then part of variables and then we want the median so make sure to highlight the median and you know we don't need these other stops here so um, pretty much we just we just I just I want to get the mean and likewise the median just to look at what are the, the values here so it's still loading so we can see that the mean is 3.2 and the median is 3.1 pretty much that's the correct answer because the median here in the in the handouts is 3.1 okay now um, this is one example here this is a remark just to see that this mean is pretty much sensitive to to 
um, extreme scores or we call them outliers so I imagine this um, uh, in the first example here in the movie we can see the mean is 10.5 the median is as 11 but if we're going to change actually the value of, of one variable from 16 to 160 this becomes 28.5 and 11 which uh, pretty much you can see that the mean is pretty much um, affected by extreme scores or outliers but the median stays the same um, telling us that the median is is much more um, reliable when you have extreme scores and when your n is low okay so talking about the mode the mode is the one which is which is the most frequent um, frequently well, you know it occurs the most so you can see the mode here in the first example that the mode given is 11 okay, it's 11 so you can see which is also correct here okay um, here in example 6 which is which talks about the reaction times if we're going to put on the reaction times so we get the mode the sum uh, how about let's just find everything okay so including the mean median and mode so we're going to look at the mode here in the reaction times variable and see that uh, that the mode is given a so more than one mode exists only the first one is reported here um, the mode is 2.3 as you can see 2.3 is the first value here or the first okay, one of the lowest so um, that's a lot because actually if you're going to look at the data if you're going to look at the data there's no repetition of what number whatsoever so you can see that the mode is more than okay more than one okay because there are um, there's no repetition okay so we cannot consider this as a mode jack actually um, since there are there's only there's there should be um, usually if you if you will have a mode it should be the most occurring so there's no value here which is you, you know you say that it's most occurring so there's no mode here actually so yeah it, it, it says here that it's there's one more than one mode exists because even though the frequency is one so it will tell that it's the mode even though it's it's a it's a uniform one for all the all the value sets so here we have the relationships of the mean and the median uh, just run through this if we see that the mean is equal to the median therefore it's symmetric if we see that the, it's the distribution, the mean is greater than the median. For example, um, here the mean 3.2. Let's go back here. I'll just erase the standard error. It will be clear for everyone, and then yeah, I'll just erase everything else except the mean and median, so that it will be clear. Okay, it will run. Okay, so what we have is the mean and median. Get erase the M also, so we can see the first in in the uh, this one, we can see that the mean is less than the median because 10.5 is less than 11. So hence, this is an example of a negatively skewed distribution, in which the mean is, is less than the median. Here in the reaction times, we can see that the 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 mean is greater than the median. So saying or telling us that this is a positively skewed distribution. Um, I mean their reaction times. Let's try to create some plots if it will give us the the um, illustration that we are looking for so okay so pretty much you can see here in this in the non-central the number of central AC units so we can see that that mean is less than the median so therefore we can say that it is negatively skewed so it's skewed to the left so you can see the skew is the skew is on the left here and for the for the reaction times we say that it's it's positively skewed because um the mean the mean is greater than the median so we can see it's positively skewed so it's skewed to the right so most of the distribution the, the high scores are here okay so i'm not really a, a perfect graph since our n is small okay so um, that's how you get the descriptives in Jamovi. Again, let's do that from the top. From the top, say we want to get the values of this number one. So we analyze it using exploration with descriptives. Um, find the variable that you want to 
to have the descriptives with I'll click this one and then click all the other thing all the things that you want to put there the range the mode the sum skewness cardosis the normality test of by Shapiro built and whatever you want okay given that it's it's here in Jamovi so you can see that it's one on a, it's one magic um, click on the on the button okay and it will give you all the descriptives that you you really need okay so um that's it for today for this video in Jamovi so thanks for watching um, um, definitely there will be more after this so thank you very much